Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fighters Fight Live from the Telegrass Hotel, Balamina, Phil Campbell, the great and powerful Mr. Ian Mahood on the call. What a night of action we have had already, and it is time for our second title fight of the evening, this time for the Irish welterweight title. Adam Stewart taking on Joshua Stewart, no relation, I believe. However, an interesting caveat to this fight is Whoever loses this fight is not allowed to use the second name Stuart moving forward. <laughs> not just the title on the line, legacy, heritage, family credentials. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hoping to leave his opponent in dire straits, Joshua Stewart making his way to the ring. Do, do you get it, Ian? Because the, 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 mu the music, it's, it's dire straits. Dire straits. Anyway, oh. moving on. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> it's another real interesting fight. Adam Stewart representing Age of Glory, taking on Joshua Stewart representing Heat MMA. And this is something as an MMA fan or an MMA guy, I like seeing MMA fighters taking fights in other disciplines to, yeah. to, to round out their skill sets. Great Honing, to see. Honing in their skills. Yeah. Yes, great to see him. Marty Bagley in the corner of Joshua Stewart, a, a legend of Irish MMA. And if I were to make a bold prediction, I'd say Stewart gets the win tonight. <laughs> I think you may be right, Mr. Campbell. I think you may be right. <laughs> we see, I'll end up a draw. <laughs> <laughs> An intense stir down here in the center ring as we get the final instructions from referee Marty Case. Marty Case having to strain his neck to give instru instruction to these boys. I don't even think there was as much as a blink there between the two lads. Very similar body types, Ian. This yeah. makes for a real interesting fight. Orthodox v Southpaw as well for the Irish welterweight title. Fittingly, Adam with the red hair, fighting out of the red corner, taking on Josh, fighting out of the blue corner, black shorts, gold trim. I'll tell you what, it's always nice to see when a fighter's shorts matches the gloves. I like the synchronicity of it. Oh, beautiful Good left hook. Just Hanged right away with that lead hook. And he had talked to me a little bit about how the dynamic changes with the southpaw versus an orthodox This fighter. is going to be a chess match. Naturally, the counter punchers a lot of the time, or the southpaws are counter punchers a lot yeah. of the time. Uh -huh. So we can see here, Stuart is kind of waiting. Southpaw Stuart is kind of waiting <laughs> <laughs> to pick the shot. That's Joshua Stuart in the black trunk school trim. We're at the same time. His opponent here from Edge of Glory is also kind of trying to set a trap as well. Talk to me a little bit about the, the importance of the foot placement of the, the lead foot. Each man's going to want to have the outside space. More so to have their back hand in line with a target. Oh, nearly a bit of flipping <laughs> wrestling there over the top rope. MMA, guys. In for the double. It is a bit of a myth that the foot has to be on the outside, but some would argue that it has to be. But depending on tactics, not always the way. Nice straight shot to the body. Good and overhand over the top left. from Joshua, Good but he's one in well. reply. Singing off the same hymn sheet here, Yeah, Ian. we are indeed. Hallelujah, brother. <laughs> yeah, That's a lovely fadeaway hook. The backhands are definitely the target shot here, finished by the hooks. 
Oh, good shot of the body there. And he does a good job when he lands a shot. He's not a static target. Either rolls out of the way or slips back. Very intelligent from the Heat MMA guy. A little bit of a clash of heads there. Just inside the last minute here now. Both guys have sort of stamped their measure on each other here with uh, good straight back hands and lead hooks. It's a real interesting dynamic and again just getting out of the way. And just be careful with that head there. Yeah, stepping just a little bit too low. Mordecai calls for the break. In the last 30 seconds. Watch out for a fadeaway hook from Joshua. There it is. Good backhand. See, this is the kind of shots we'll want to see here. You're the taller opposition. Yeah. Line that shot up and fire it straight down the middle. Fastest route from A to B is through the center line. I'm enjoying the, 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 the dynamic that's starting to unfold here. I do love a Southpaw versus Orthodox contest. Very, very tightly contested, uh, very tightly contested first round. For me, I don't know if it's if it's a slight bias in favour of the MMA guy, but I feel Joshua's shirt was doing just enough to take that run. You feel he pushed the pace a wee bit? I feel he pushed the pace. He was a little bit more proactive with the counter shots. He almost scored a takedown. <laughs> <laughs> but again, you know, neither fighter's necessarily done anything wrong. What I would say if I were in the corner of Adam Sturt in the red corner would be to up the output a little bit yep. more. Not necessarily chase the fighter aggressive. Instead of the single jab, the double jab, instead of just the one-two, the one-two hook, try and punches and punches, quite yep. simply. The opening three minutes have both had a look at each other and kind of stamped their mark on one another, so it'll be, be interesting to see what adjustments each fighter makes here getting into the second round. Great point, Ian. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that can't see, Ian is timing the rounds on his wristwatch, and it is adorable. Again, like you said, and like you said in the opening stanzas, the southpaw Joshua Stewart is occupying that space as the counter striker. Yep. But again. Another thing you know, he's dipping that head just incrementally a wee bit too low. Yeah. Again, just that okay. counter hook, that seems to be every yeah. time, just that short, snapping lead hand hook. Right, see, that was a nice little bit of misdirection. Clinched on one side and then land the body shots to the side the referee can't see. Good shot there. I would like to see the backhands coming straight down here. Both guys are setting it up lovely. Good effort there. Got the head off the centre line to Joshua well. I, again, one thing, and I hate to harp on about MMA versus boxing, but one thing that Joshua Stewart is doing well is that in those clinch situations, he knows exactly the hand placement. He's digging in for the underhook. He's almost controlling the clinch a little bit better. Not sure what happened there. Maybe a little low blow. Shot below the belt here, maybe. Marty's just giving Adam Stewart a bit of time here. So Joshua will have to go through the, the formality of a, a finger wagging from Marty Kays. Marty just giving the warning there just to keep the shots up. Adam's entitled to at least five minutes here from a low blow, so but we're getting back underway. Good backhand straight. There we go. That's this is what I would like to see more of here, just at that distance. Backhand lead hooks. Nice straight backhands.
bit of blood around the nose there of Adam Stewart. And it's all coming from that counter hook. He's not putting. He's not putting 100% into it. It's almost a 60% shot. Yep. But in 60% power comes 100% speed. That's a oh, nice shot on the there. break. Good left hook to the body, but a good return again there from his opponent. This is such an entertaining fight. Serious Claret coming out of the nose now of Adam Stewart. Final 10 seconds of the round here. Needs to be careful turning that back. That's never a good sign. I feel that Adam Sturge maybe just feeling the pace here a wee bit. I think that's a great point. It's something we spoke about in the previous fight. That additional minute yeah. can make such a difference, Ian. Marty Bagley just impressing upon Joshua the need to slip that head side to side. Yeah. Joshua looking the fresher fighter. A little bit more work needed there. Down in the corner of Adam. Adam's constantly being caught with that little fade away hook. What does he need to do to stem the tide of that? Because it's almost, it's not a concussive shot by any stretch of the imagination, but it halts his uh, momentum as soon as it lands. Oh, good left hand to the body there straight away. Top of the lead hook there again, just over the top. Yep. Oh, good oh, left hand. That's the best shot of the round. Uh, sorry, best shot of the fight. And it's that straight backhand there that we're talking about. Mm. Tried that leaping. Good feint in there. From so you saw, oh, good shot to the body. Shot selection here from the Heat MMA man is fantastic. Yeah, taken well by Adam. Marty Kay's instructing the fighters to work out of the clinch. You get that this is where Good conditioning shot. this is where conditioning plays such a pivotal part. Yeah, Adam Shirts just having to bite down here. He's gonna have to just bite down now on the gum shield here. Big deep breath from Adam Shirt. Oh, it's, a, it's an oh, incredible shot. shot. That wobbled him. He turned the back. Yeah. I, we could see a stoppage here. What does he change his second name to? Uh, Joshua, just, Joshua just senses a little bit of vulnerability here and he's straight back in for the attack. The body language of Adam isn't great here. Yeah. That, that's that's it. it, that's all over. There can only be one Stuart and his name is Joshua. He is your new Irish welterweight champion. That's all she wrote.
Joshua! 